about to go live. I'm about to talk to Rel live here about where Jersey Club came from, where it's headed, and the intricacies of the genre. So come hop in live. We're about to go live. I'm going to switch screens in just a little bit. I want to play Rel's track in the background as we load up. here what's up we're gonna go over jersey club where it came from where it's headed we're just getting rocking give me a second to load up stm beat this here what's up this is rel track in the background right here baltimore roots let's see it dj tam real tamil Elijah's here, what's up? We got Sai here. I'm about to switch screens in a second. I just gotta load up. Load up my Zoom real quick. Give me a second. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's good, bro? <laughs> What's going on? Did you hear your track just now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meet me at the ahead. next spot. Next the... spot. <laughs> What's going on? Let me make sure we're good on the other screen because I was just tapping buttons. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. Let me double check, triple check. Do y'all see Rel on the screen? Give me a yes in the comments if y'all can see him. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, bro. How you feeling? Chilling. I know we. I had to push it back. Forgive me. That was my bad. Nah, it's all good. We all doing a little running around. CPT, as they say, is like three is really four p.m. <laughs> CPT. <laughs> a couple of people time for those who don't know. Oh man, yeah, I had yeah. to pull you in this conversation because that track was fire, by the way. Thanks, bro. Thank you. I really appreciate crazy. it. Crazy. I never heard that track till just now. Me I, nice, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna see you some more after after we get off of here. That's wild. Because people think Jersey Club, and the reason I want to bring you in because you're the authentic. And the oh, what I know of Jersey Club is that bed squeak. <laughs> and then that do, 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 do. But I remember on, tw I think it was Twitter, because we, you know, I can give people a whole history, but we met on, I believe, Clubhouse is how we crossed paths. And right, then we had right. a lot of good people around us. And then we just saw how much good energy we bring. And one thing I want to ask you is, I remember you on Twitter said something about how, like, people were kind of running with that sound. And I believe you're of the authentic thing. So, like, can you just yeah, help yeah. us understand? Yeah, yeah I'm a I'm a part of the original um, uh, pioneers, the group uh, Brick Bandits that brought uh, club music from Baltimore to New Jersey. Um, uh, so yeah, um, kind of just to build up what we was talking about. Yeah, I feel like at least now in this particular time, a lot of people are just, yeah, let me just add the Jersey drums, a few snaps, you know, snap, snap kind of thing. and. Uh, you know, this is a hit, you know, especially with like um, the, I guess, the popularizing of the music through like social media with like TikTok and people coming up with like little dances and shit like that. It just seems like it's at an all time high uh, wow. where people are doing that. And it's just like, it's cool, you know, but some, right. some, some shit, ain't, you know, it ain't always it, but you know. Yeah, because, and if you don't mind me looking down here, it's because my camera's over here and then I'm looking at you right here. 
So it's, nah, it's all good. Awkward. I'm looking at you and then I, My bad. I'm making sure I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the chat. Because I wanted to bring these guys to Authentic because we see people like Drake kind of going with the sound or yeah. um, who's another big one? Is it 21? Or? Uh, Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi. Uh, has touched it. Uh, NLE Chopper. Uh, right. French Montana just recently jumped in, uh, jumped in the party. Really? Uh, I'm hearing K Camp uh, just did a a Jersey Club um, okay. a record. Then we got artists in the UK like um, uh, Pink Pantherist uh, oh. do uh, jumping on Jersey Club. Then we got the K-pop wow. group. Um, what is it called? New Jeans out in South Korea. They doing their version of, I guess, Baltimore Jersey Club. But we know, you know, wow. it's, still, it's still the sauce. So it's kind of just like becoming super huge now, not so much just like a a local sound, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm glad you said local because I grew up in the greater Philadelphia area. Hey, you know the vibes, man. You got club music here for sure. <laughs> All I hear is, boom, feel that. It would just be like a vocal chant. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And I was just like, oh my God, turn it off. I used to yeah. hate it. Um, <laughs> just because I didn't get it. I didn't get it at the time. But what I'm saying is it was such a regional sound. Like, you know how West yeah. Coast beats have like, West Coast sound that was legitimately regional. I thought it came from Jersey, but it came from Baltimore. You're teaching me. Yeah, yeah. From my from my understanding of and where I got it from, uh, DJ Tamil was going down to Baltimore in the early 2000s, uh, and he was working with Unruly Records. So Scotty B, uh, Rod Lee, um, oh man, I'm forgetting a lot of those guys' uh, names just off the top of my head. But I definitely understand that. He was coming down from New Jersey, going to the record shops and bringing up the Baltimore records up to New Jersey. And then uh, him and the first generation of Brick Band just was like, hey, we can make this. <laughs> and then they started making uh, their interpretation of Baltimore Club. And originally it was called Brick City Club. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Brick City is, it's Newark. Uh, so we was they was creating that style there, and then um, as Jersey Club started to um, grow more attention and popularize throughout the state of New Jersey, they uh, coined it as Jersey Club as a whole. Oh, that explains so much more because as I'm listening to it, and by the way, congrats to you in the genre because I see what you know the the um, record labels and the um, NFL were doing. Because magically a hit song comes about. It's a Jersey Club banger. <laughs> and then Philadelphia right. Eagles make it to the Super Bowl. Come on. That's like a setup. Right, right. So that's but like I think it yeah, I ahead. think it's awesome that um like that that's happening. Um I think um at least in this time period, it's now um cool to do the music where it's like, yo, you ain't just doing the music locally. Now it's like other artists are starting to jump in and it's just creating like this mass condition into the uh, people that are familiar with the music to go like, ah, oh, where, where can we find more, you know? Cause it's either you're going to, you're going to like it or you're not going to like it at all. So. Yeah. The, the cool part about it is one, I think the, the fact that it was tied to the Super Bowl gave it such a launch pad to where it's like, can you imagine yeah. you're the, now they go back to the source. So how does, yeah. and this is why I love having you here. Thank you, by the way. Cause we, yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having me, bro. I want to ask you because because you're the source and because it's now gone up like, you know, like Bitcoin did when everybody hopped onto it. Because <laughs> you're in Web3 for, you know, we were talking Web3 stuff on Clubhouse a lot. Um, right. I'm sure you got in those convos too. But now that you're kind of the, you know, one of the pioneers and you've been on stage, stages with crazy, you know, acts. I'll let you kind of share who you've been on stage with. I didn't yeah, definitely. tell people yet. Uh, small rundown. Uh, I've been on stage with, uh, well, Currently signed and working with Steve Aoki uh, in the EDM side of things. I've done some of the biggest festivals, Coachella, EDC, Tomorrowland. Uh, I've done independent tours myself, touring uh, Japan, South Korea, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, uh, wow. fucking Italy, <laughs> um, the UK. Wow. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's been a lot. Who can even say they've gone to Myanmar in their entire life? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that is on a map. <laughs> it's, 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 it's next to Thailand. So it's, oh, it's, wow. it's out there, man. I'll say that's the, um, that was one of the craziest shows that I did. Cause I wasn't really? expecting to go there at all. And they had like this 
big, 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 super big ass poster with my face on it, like outside the club. It just, <laughs> it's just, I'm like, yo, you don't let me get used to this level. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a mural on the side of a building right. somewhere and me and Mar. That's mm -hmm. intense because, you know, I get asked all the time, these producers who are just starting, they're always like, how do I create a sound? And I never, I usually tell them, don't worry about the sound. It's about the bigger brand. But you're a person who actually created or um, rooted around a true authentic sound. And the reason I'm saying that is because I remember growing up with Jersey Club and how foreign it was. It was so regional that the fact that yeah. it is now main stage shows how, like, it was a journey getting there. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that. And like, at least for me, it's like, I've been doing this since I was 15. I turned, um, 32 uh February 22nd so in a few few days uh -huh. and it's like yo from being a, a sound where I was just going to like teen parties and shit like that and then it's like all these dances that we done made up and now fast forward it's like yo I'm seeing like simultaneously seeing my childhood through like social media people doing shit that I was doing when I was a kid and now this style of music is like the world is now in enjoying it like wow in as a whole and then you know uh mainstream artists jumping in which is cool but also it, you know it come you know it's bad with it you know it's it's two sides of it but like yeah just to be like in a space where it's like all right yo i'm not doing this for no reason like you know what i'm saying even though i've had my success and did my thing you know pioneering and going other places with it now it's like we get it. <laughs> like, you know right. what I'm saying? Everybody's like, we get it now. Wow. We get it. And to so it's more so now just, um, I ain't gonna say dumbing it down a bit, but like adapting my, my sound to like newer people that are now listening and then taking them that deeper down the rabbit hole. Like, all right, if you like this, you <laughs> this is what you really need. You know what I'm saying? Like the song we just heard. I never, I never heard it go in that direction before. I'm usually used to the beat, every single beat. I remember girls, yeah. I'm not going to do the dance right, but they used to be like doing <laughs> this, like some kind of cross oh. thing. Was that oh, the, the dance? The Wu-Tang? Yeah, is that the dance yeah, they yeah, would that's... do to uh, Jersey Club? Or am I making that? I mean, it's, it's a lot. I mean, the Wu-Tang is y'all thing. That's a Philly thing. Oh, see, okay. Uh, now y'all got the, y'all built off of that, uh, built off of that, got like the little, little hips thing. But um, <laughs> the the dances that we primarily got, we got the, the Running Man, we got the, the Patty Cake, we got the Sexy Walk, uh, we got Rock Your Hips, we got the Jaffe Rock. Um, wow. What else we got? One leg, get back. We got the wow. um, get fresh. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of dances that still like a lot of people don't know, but you see it, mm -hmm. but mainstream don't know the name for it and shit. Like it's like, oh, yeah, I'm shit, like, the, it's crazy. The like, one like, leg. Wait a yeah. second. Wait. So how do you? So now you're in the trenches. This is what I really respect. Is one we're getting real perspective from somebody who's actually doing what people dream of, which is intense. You know, and uh, first, before I get into my question, I want to ask about that thin line, because I remember when they when I'll say EDM kind of hijacked Trap and they thought Trap was just an eight oh eight. I'm like, Trap is a lifestyle. It's a storyline. It's all these things. Yeah. So it was that it kind of made me not like how they were um, using the word Trap for their stuff. Now, do you get that same thing currently with um, your style? Like when they kind of use the term of the genre, but it's not really... You know um, I mean? sometimes with me, I don't, I don't really pay attention to that particular aspect. I pay more attention to like, all right, well, what, since you're using the building blocks, what are you, what else are you going to, you know, do with it? You know, and just set up like, I mean, anybody could just add the drums, boom, 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 yeah. and then say, oh, that's Jersey club. But it's like, nah, that ain't really it. You just was influenced, influenced by it. So that's right. what I really pay attention to it. Like, um, what are you, how could I say it, adding to it while also making your own? Yeah, it's a positive. See, he's positive. <laughs> he's positive. I try, I like to, I try to be now, but I mean, it is some, it is some, uh, some negative aspects. I feel like uh, for me earlier, I'll say like early uh, 2010s, say around 2015, 2016, we were dealing with a lot of uh, European acts that were jumping into Jersey club music and it brought competition to to us but it was also like you guys are in the way because you're you're, you're not creating the style of music under your your regular persona 
you're doing it under some like cartoon characters and things like that. And mm. you're now running off with it mm. where you're just kind of like, yeah, shouts to Jersey, but <laughs> your ass is like touring off the music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow. It's like, if you're influenced by it, say it, but also like try to bring up those artists that are, you know, really like, I am standing 10 toes on it and, and you right. know, you know, so we kind of dealt with that. Interesting. Um, a while back so like now that you know mainstream artists is now jumping in this ain't our first rodeo but it is like damn like if they're now jumping in and they're not necessarily using us as producers then that's kind of like a smack in the face or like you kind of erasing us saying yo we could do it without you kind of right. thing so that's in, in that aspect it's like yo if y'all want to do that i'm gonna do your song over and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You know, this is oh, how okay. it should sound. So that's kind of what I do. If mm -hmm. I hear like a Jersey record and it's, oh, you, uh, you think you're doing that? Nah, let me let me show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. I love that because even I went to school for biology and pre med and all this. And in science, you know, when they're writing writing these white papers, they have to source their they have to cite their sources. So no mm -hmm. matter how far you know the evolution of science goes, they always quote you know the original people, and it goes back to the original. So you can follow all the way back to the source. And I think yeah. music, we tend to miss that. Um, maybe that's the difference between cultures of like how rock is, where they kind of respect the OGs, whereas hip hop type acts or whatever are more, there's no like chain. They just disregard everybody. I don't know. Maybe it's skin tone thing. I have no idea. I don't mean to make it <laughs> negative, but, you know, I just love going back to the roots. That's why I wanted to pull on someone who's actually authentic, actually been on the stages. I want to ask you a question though about energy. Yes, yes, sure thing. Because you've been in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, how do you judge now that you make music? Like when you, I, the only way I can explain this is when I was public speaking. Like mm -hmm. one time I, I realized it's not about the information that I'm sharing, it's about getting people's energy up. And I was right. like, I have to change my whole communication style because it's about lifting people up. So once you felt that for yourself, how did that change? you know, the way you made music, if it did at all? Oh, yeah, I would say for me, it was, um the, the change was was through like a remix because I was doing like the um, Jersey Club hip gear towards like hip hop. Uh, that's kind of when I wanted to be a hip hop DJ and I wanted to be like Hot 97 and like Power and shit like that. I was like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. And then I did a remix of Cashmere Cat and that was kind of like in that EDM lane and that just, switched my whole shit and it was like oh wow this this group of people really are receptive to my music but also i can be an artist and like showcase and do what i want to do how i want to do it so when i'm in those particular environments where you're coming to see rail or i'm in somewhere different country i'm gearing my set to that audience if that makes sense so i'm mixing it with stuff they currently know currently no but also um playing jersey club records that are digestible but still authentic if that makes sense stuff that's like wow. oh shit this is good rather than i'm gonna just take take you deep down and i'm about to give you this raleigh baltimore <laughs> cut or you know this this hidden jersey club gym that you're not going to know i try to keep it geared towards the area where i'm at that mm -hmm. way people are you know able to process it because it's still um I'm still teaching people because it's still new, if that wow. makes sense. It's just like a, it's, you know, it's a subgenre of hip hop. So of course people are gonna, you know, be familiar with what's going on. But at the same time, it's like, if you don't know what's going on, they're gonna be like, oh, this shit sound like the music just chopping over and over or skipping, you know? So I all, I gotta keep that in mind. And, I'm, and when I'm on these stages that I'm also teaching the, the crowd at the same time, you know? Wow. That's genius. I just never thought of it that way is you're basically like translating your work in every different language. They say music is like a universal language, but you're truly translating that musical language to their region so that they can receive you. That's super genius. Yeah. For example, like when I go to when I was touring in Japan, uh, a lot of my um, songs in my and my DJ says are Japanese Jersey Club songs where they're singing the lyrics in Japanese and the chops are in their language and they're just going crazy, you know, shit that like that. So you know? Just kind of just cater to wherever I'm at, you know. 
That's so fire. So now that you've been worldly, you've been around and you've seen the different cultures and different people around the uh, world. How do you se- like where do you center yourself, if that makes sense? Do you center yourself in this American identity? Do you center yourself in the Jersey Club identity or just as a producer? How do you center your like identity now that you've expanded? I kind of route myself in just like club music. I just kind of drop the jersey or anything like that because I know that's from Baltimore and I play Baltimore. Of course, I make jersey club music, but I'm also I have my hands out in different places where it's like I want it to be inclusive, where it's like, all right, well, I got these Japanese Jersey Club artists or I got these uh, artists that are in South America that's doing Latin Jersey Club music and and things like that. So I kind of just stay just live within the world of of club music rather than just kind of like, oh, I'm just in this kind of niche of it, you know, try to make it so like I live in in all the worlds because I'm playing it, Mm. you know, I'm I'm DJing it and mixes or I'm um, I'm putting, I also throw shows to throw, throw my own shows too. So I'm booking artists and putting them on, you know, and, uh, oh, dope. you know, kind of, it's, it's kind of like that. Like I'll say, I'm not going to say, well, I'll say it like this. I'm kind of like co-signing other artists too, that are outside of the culture. So I don't want yeah. them to feel like, oh, you just got to make Jersey club. No, you don't. It's more so like, yeah, I'm, I, my style is a Jersey club take because that's where I'm from, but I'm a, Hey, I'm I'm actually from that. So if you're interested, let me, you know, come on in. Kind of awesome. Thing. Yeah. And I mean, you've lived a life that these people wish they could live. I'm taking notes if you see me look to the side. And they always teach us riches are in the niches. But I'm like, sometimes that's because they don't want you to zoom out enough to compete against them. And it seems like right. you've zoomed out and said, I'm not just a Jersey club. I'm not this little box. I can have this big, I'll say umbrella, just so it makes sense. I have this big umbrella yeah. of X and then we can cover all these different things. And it all is one kind of family of things going on. Is right. that what you meant or I, am I making that? Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's exactly how I look at it. Mm-hmm. It's because like, it's gonna, keep, it's gonna keep growing. Like regardless of how we look at it and the people that are from the culture and not from the culture, if you're influenced by it, you, people are gonna make it. So. Why would I be so, you know, kind of standoffish, like, hey, man, this ain't how you do it or Mm -hmm. shit like that. It's more so like with me, if you're actually influenced by it and you know better, reach out. And I'm I'm here to show love just as much as possible, you Mm -hmm. know, and shed light on new acts that I see that aren't from my my, um, community back home. And yeah. also pull up the younger generation that's now doing it, that's getting the the shine. Oh, that's much love. Because the reason I brought you in, one, you're authentic to what your craft is. Two, is because mm-hmm. Rail's just so positive. I, the behind the scenes, they don't know. They haven't seen the mastermind <laughs> group. They haven't seen the text or anything. He's just super positive. And then he's, he's, th- he's consistently showing up. And these are traits that are hard to describe to people as why people are successful or why they expand. It's these kind of invisible traits. Mm -hmm. So it's because you kept just showing face everywhere we were, whether it's Instagram, whether it's the mastermind group or whatever, a text just saying, hey. And I want to ask you, though, because I wrote some of my notes for a couple of seconds ago, which is Web3. Were you in Web3? I don't know your whole involvement into Web3. I know we were trying to get to Web3 for a second. I've um I've done a few releases on uh catalog as well as a uh, mint song uh at the time um just to like see you know the possibilities uh because I've experienced putting out Jersey Club independently as well as putting songs out on labels and things like that and going forward I ultimately know that ownership is everything you know and and this time as Jersey Club continues to get more popular i want to own my shit <laughs> like you know at the end of the day mm-hmm. so it's like all right well nobody that i know of that's in my peer group is looking at web3 so let me dive in and learn about this that way when other artists or anybody asks hey what are you doing i'm able to teach them like all right this is how you properly get into it and set it up you know and just just do the work and also i looked at it like this is a way for me to connect with a lot of individuals that are 
actually interested in what I'm genuinely doing and I know who they are rather than I'm looking at, you know, the traditional system and I'm like, yo, where where are these fans from? Where are they mm-hmm. listening from? How can I hit them up? You know, so I'm trying to get in that uh, that practice of controlling my own my own IP and be able to connect with people directly rather than going through a middleman. And uh, I've noticed that Web3 allows me to have that capability. So that's kind of why I stepped in that is, you know, simultaneously still doing stuff in Web2, but also have the knowledge of when I really want to embark on Web3 full force, I know, you know, what I'm doing and where where I can possibly go. No, I love that because that's, you know, the message that I'm trying to share to people is there's nothing that beats that direct communication with your Community. I'll say community because that's the big thing. Web yeah, push. yeah, of course. No, there's a no, that's what gave me so much leverage to work with, you know, a lot of these audio companies. And I'm sure this will be a perfect story. It's like, OK, we got Lil Uzi Vert who's pushing the sound of, um, uh, you know, a Jersey Club. Eagles just went to the Super Bowl. You got to go to the source rail. Think about how many right. companies, Waves, Arturia, Isotope, Sweetwater, you know, Vintage King, like all these guys being behind that because you're the authentic avatar that you know the creator chose to have this whole storyline so right. that's that's how i'm thinking just as like a liaison type of spirit in this but i so how so are you building like your own um community yeah i am i, I have a discord where, uh, just specifically for uh, club music that way i'm able to talk directly to people as well as uh i have an incentive for people that want all my back catalog my music to sign up for like uh, my, uh, it's kind of like Superphone, uh, the Ryan Leslie shit where you can sign up. I send you direct links, download shit like that. So I'm kind of been instilling people to do that. That way I could communicate with them directly, things like that. And I hit people back. Like I actually talk to people. I'm talking wow. to people all the time, like on DMs. Like when you, if you follow me on Twitter right now, you're going to get a DM. And I tell you, it's an auto message and shit like that. But when I reply back, it's going to be genuine and I hit people back wow. but it, within that message they getting a free link straight to my music and they could just download it catch up you know that way if i'm not able to like you can't catch me or promote i'm able to promote it you know it's it's it's, it's here it's available it's just a matter of um discovery if that makes sense or awareness yeah. pardon me yeah i would love to um Share your community. I, th- I don't know if I'm in the Discord. I'm in so many Discords, but I'll definitely it's, share it's the link. Good, bro. <laughs> I'll definitely share the link to my email list because I know how tedious it is having a text list and then people hit you up and they want to have a combo. And I'm like, look, I like you and everything, but I have 400 <laughs> other people that I got to get to. <laughs> I'm just like, Word this is not just... sustainable, and I just I couldn't handle the text, the SMS um, text list. But to eat, yeah. I mean, if you can handle that, that's that takes a lot of strength. <laughs> hey, that's I got it. Like it's on. It, mm-hmm. it ain't on my phone. It's on like a, a web app. Like you know what I'm saying. So I just sign in, and then I could go. Oh yeah, this person hit me back. Oh, all right, where they from? All right, they in this area. Okay, and then I also use it for targeting too, because it's like, all right, I'm collecting all this data. I want to know where you at. And then if I wanted to, if say if I had a show in Philly, I could just go to that contact list. Hey, I'm gonna be in Philly. You know what I'm saying? He go a a code or some shit you get in free just having mm-hmm. that level of access and, and that kind of capability to promote to people and touch them it's yeah. kind of what i'm what i'm trying to go for you know in the future that's so dope and the super phone is um that's ryan leslie yeah yeah but i use it i use something different because oh i thought you said super. Oh, oh yeah no i'm saying that's what it's like oh it's know, just like give, uh, oh, gotcha, give, gotcha. uh people uh understanding of you know the gist of it, because the, uh, the the application and site that I'm using is called fanpad.xyz, but mm-hmm. it's still in beta right now. So I didn't want to give them something that's in beta and they couldn't join, but I wanted to give them a representation of what's, you know, what's currently out in the market mm-hmm. of what it's like. Oh, I just misheard you. I just misheard you. I was just going to shout out Ryan Leslie. Anytime I can no, shout, shout out Ryan No, Leslie. no, no, no. Shout <laughs> Ryan Leslie out. That's, that's the goat right there. Yes. No, we can't do that. He's way like he understood. And yes, it, I'm, it's, I'm glad you said dot X, Y, Z, because um, that's Web three. And how do yeah. you how do I how do I ask this question? How much faith do you put into building from the ground in Web three as opposed to most people? They use Web three as like a um, like a cherry on top of a Sunday, as mm-hmm. opposed to the bowl that the Sunday sits in. So you're it seems like you're using Web three as like the bowl and you're going to build on that. 
Because if you're doing yeah. X, Y, Z, I'd assume you're, um, are you doing the whole like NFT thing with the whitelisting and all that? Or is it emails and just text right now? It's just emails and text right now. Okay. Um, I haven't particularly rolled out like an NFT or anything yet because I want to make sure when I do it's legit and it has uh, proper utility and people are, they get something from it. But so, so right now I'm just more so uh, using it to collect emails, phone numbers, but also providing them with new updates, new music, you know, exclusively before it even hits the public. That way they just get it direct. Like, thanks for signing up, people to music, you know, right. but also like not um, forcefully push people into something that they don't want to be a part of. Because a lot of right. people don't want to be in Web3, you know, and a lot of people, do so the ones that do like i'm a cater to y'all we over here but the people that web too i'm still gonna cater to y'all and if y'all want to go back between both hey i'm living between both worlds so oh, i love that yeah because i realized a lot of web three folks were just speculating because i was like you know i said to my mentor who kind of brought me into the web three world chris moye i said him mm -hmm. i said to him um doesn't web three still require web two traffic Yes, I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, so, you know, it still takes Web 2. I didn't really grasp Web 3, but I realized Web 3 was so popular because of all the people who just wanted to make money in Web 3, like the speculator type people, which is cool. Yeah. Now, do you think um, Web 3 will make another kind of resurgence or do you think, what do you think? I think so. I think it, um, I don't think it's going anywhere. I think, I think it's going to um, develop a way to live between both worlds. And for the people that don't want to be involved how, as deep as others, then that's fine. But I think it, it's going to be a, play, a place where some, some functionality of Web3 is going to carry over into Web2 and vice versa. So I think they kind of depend on each other. The reason I asked is because um, I on Clubhouse, we used to go through all the case scenarios, every worst case scenario we could think of. And the one that kind of stuck with me was that if a, an artist is signed, it's like, do we really think their label is going to even let them make Web3 stuff? Oh, Zoom says I have 10 minutes. I'm a cheapo and didn't buy Zoom. <laughs> nah, um, but it was a quick combo. But um, real quick. uh, Yeah. So what, how do you think a signed artist could even you're lucky because you're not being restricted from that. But what about people who are, you know, stuck with X, Y, I mean, Z? I, 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 I deal with I deal with both because I have a contract contractual agreements in, oh. in certain aspects. But yeah. um, I think the best thing for artists that are, are in Web2 uh, to do is just do the research and see if Web3 could be a possibility for them to uh, get from up under somebody else controlling their music. You know, uh, I think some artists need a label, some artists don't, you know, so I think it won't hurt to do the research to see where you could kind of do both or use uh, assets or things from Web3 and renegotiate your contracts in Web2 and see if uh, labels are inclined to do both where you could, hey, uh, I'm going to drop the uh, I'm going to drop a song in Web3 and, you know, whoever buys the NFT. Uh, you know, gets this and that just that one off beat for that particular pan uh, for that that particular song, but the mm -hmm. song can still be on streaming platforms, you know, for other people to enjoy. It, it just, it kind of depends on how you do it, but I think it just has to be like a um, clear and well talked about with, with your label or whatever, if they just give, if they give you that opportunity. But uh, from what I tell artists that are like really signed to labels, hey man, just learn about it because it's not going to go away. I think you should mm -hmm. know other options or avenues that you could take where you could kind of not need, you know, old, old ways of thinking, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I'm really trying to show people, I try not to demonize the industry. I just try to show them how it's basically a pyramid. The same way our government is built. It's like we're built. Yeah to be at the bottom of the pyramid unless we learn the tax laws and learn how to get behind them to go up another rung in the pyramid. And Web3 right. allows us to go, we can create our own pyramid basically where we're at the top and then we talk directly to the people who love us. Whereas exactly, you know, in the traditional industry, it's Sony, Warner, um, Universal at the top of the pyramid, then all the companies underneath, then us. And it's, a, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's an uphill battle half the time. Um, 
But I really wanted to, because I don't really speak to the DJ community. A lot of DJs yeah. follow me, but I don't understand that community. It's too hard for me to grasp. <laughs> but for the producer community, did you have like a message that you just really want to get out there? And I want to share your community. I'm going to look it up on um, your Discord. Is it linked in your Instagram? Um, I'll, 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 I'll drop you the link. Okay, if perfect. Um, for the producer community, I mean, for me, uh, if you believe in your sound, just keep practicing and honing on it and making it better. Um, at least for Jersey Club itself, a lot of people was like, yo, why do you still make this music? Hey, like, yo, bro, you should have grown up. You should have outgrown that like in high school and shit <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, I'm hearing these same people tagging me and like uh, mainstream artists, uh, music like, yo, this shit is so crazy. Can you believe this? And it's like, yo, bro, like I've been doing that for a long time. Like you, sh you should have really been pushing me, but you know, it's, mm -hmm. No offense to them, but it's like, yo, I've watched a, a style of music that was uh, local uh, go international and now it's becoming mainstream. So it's like anything's a possibility. Just stay true to what you create. And if people like it, they're going to reach out. So mm -hmm. no, I really love that because I lived it. And when I, I when I'm telling people this is such a regional type of sound. And when I was like, how in the world did this become mainstream? Like, <laughs> at least Lil Uzi Vert is in the tri-state area to where he can kind of get away with it actually being somewhat authentic. Um, yeah, but I mean, it, it, it is, I would, I'm not trying to, at least for him particular, I wouldn't say it's not authentic. It's because he's, he's from Philly and club music is in Philly. Like, you know, yeah. there's Philly club music, like, you know, they have their own style, but in this particular case, he worked with a, a Jersey club producer to, you know, get, uh, I just want to rock off. And, and um, his recent, um, when he was at the Grammys, he was saying that he was in Jersey, you know, going oh, going to the, the going to the events. So he know what's up, but yeah. that's the difference. Um, but because he 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 knows he's in the know. Mm -hmm. It's 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 other artists that aren't from from here, and then they just mimic it, and then it's just like, yo, bro, like if you was influenced, then reach out to somebody that could give you that proper bounce, you know, mm -hmm. rather than like. I I I, I would say it. All right, for the, at least for the 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 for the aspect of the Drake sticky and uh, and the um the records he had on his album, they're mm -hmm. good, yeah. But like that the that producer wasn't from Baltimore or Jersey or Philly, so it's like he was influenced by, you know, not right. to take away from that. But it's like, yo, man, if that's the case, then he could have been like, hey, man, we let's reach out to an artist from this from this area that actually knows because I know that producer knows artists that are really from these areas where he was trying to make that sound, but ain't nobody about to share that particular credit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or that opportunity. But my thing is uh, for the, the mainstream, the artists and the uh, companies that are now uh, being more conditioned to these, uh, to the sound and style is reach out to those, those producers, those DJs in that community and give them the opportunity to elevate and show you what's really going on, you know, because it's not like you don't see us mm -hmm. at all. You know, the sound is here and we get as just, as just as much press uh, as they do, you know, mm -hmm. in, a, in in different areas and manner. And we're we're really doing a lot more of the, the legwork, if that makes sense, you know, uh, DJing and travel and putting people on when it's not as possible. Uh, popular as it is now but you know so that's really my thing is it's cause it's to the people that know better and know of the ones doing it reach out and see how they're doing it and put them in position in, in positions to thrive and become better artists you know rather yeah. than uh just giving the opportunity to somebody that's already in the really cemented in the game that don't really necessarily need it they just doing it because it's cool mm-hmm yeah, let's treat this like science where it's like cite your sources and it would give people encouragement to try new stuff because they know that even if they're too early or like innovators of something, they'll still have some kind of outcome. I think you being thank you for sharing this story, because maybe yeah, this is the story they needed to hear because, you know, native instruments can now reach out to you, all these audio companies. And then when they make that a staple of music production, now all the producers know who was the actual. Right. You know, because we're, we're, we're using like we're using these plugins, these 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 sounds to to chop up our stuff and and things like that and w what would it look like if if like you know 
we was given the opportunity to do like a tutorial breakdown of how to make Jersey Club on these particular channels and we're using their resources and now they're exposing their audience to something new. It's a totally different experience rather than, right. oh, we got the traditional pro super producers that we know and making a style that they don't come from, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't translate because it's, you can hear the difference. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? When you hear somebody that's influenced by it, and then an artist that's actually from that, you know, that's why I don't right. do too many tutorials because I'm not trying to showcase like the sauce sauce of what I'm doing unless it's uh, in a beneficial or teaching way. Cause I do private mm -hmm. lessons as well. Oh, so dope. It, it, it just has to make sense, bro. Dope. You guys have the source, the actual go-to. I just wanted to introduce you to everybody in the community. And I'll share this video to everybody else who hasn't joined uh, us Thank live. you so much, bro. Yeah, I no, really I mean, this it. is like, this is so cool. It's like, wow, we can celebrate the seed you planted so far back. And now yeah. it's like the world opened up and expanded for you to now. It's just amazing. I just. Yeah, to that's why you. I try to also I try to live in the live in the positive because it's like now, like I was saying, so many more people are going to be like, yo, I, I heard boom, 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 I heard this. And now it's like for the art, the people that aren't familiar with Rail or Jersey Club, Baltimore or Philly, they're now tapping in and they now have this ear for it. So it's like artists like us that are doing our thing. It reinforces like, yo, this sound is here to stay. And then now these major labels is like, oh, shit, we got to do something about this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's here. Like, it's, it's, it's it ain't going away. So, no, I love that. Too much prosperity says I have less than a minute, so I don't want to just cut you off randomly. Yeah. I will have to catch Thanks up with you. Me. I'm going to form another mastermind. I just, the Telegram group, uh, it was like a lot of random stuff. So okay. I just got to make a new group. But once I have a new group, uh, definitely going to be inside. I want to thank yeah. Rail and to everybody who watched. Peace. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I see y'all. <laughs> yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat. I'm going to link your Discord. Thank you, buddy. Peace. Yeah, he's, so I'm glad we had him on because he's truly, 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 truly authentic to... Oh, was my head blocking the thing the whole time? I forgot to turn my little thing off. Um, but he's truly authentic, too. Like, let me play this track again. It's actually hard. Now, you would think Jersey Club is just boom, 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 boom. But he actually made this way different. So I'm going to link his Instagram. So if you guys want to contact him, here's him and Steve Aoki and all the DJs and everybody that I'm not really familiar with everybody. Um, but again, the man's been on a ton of stages, put in the actual work. So I'm going to link his Instagram so you guys can connect with him directly. Hold on, give me a second. And I'm going to find his Discords because I'm going to join it too if I'm not already in it. Click here for real. But he's been super nice, even not even fully knowing me like that. He's been super nice behind the scenes. And he's just really a good person. There's nothing else to say. To that do, 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 but then switched it up. This is hard. Well, stair bounces both go. All right, shout out to everybody who's in here. So let me make sure my YouTube links are set up. Let me add his Instagram in here. for the YouTube. Now we're listening to rail stuff right now, Al Capone, but every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, we go live and we play your music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna find him. He said, ladies All love this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where he yeah. takes this. I don't know if this is Jersey Club or not, but. Hey. Oh, you want someone like me? You ain't never gonna find it. Always say the right thing. So now you guys know who to hit up for all questions Jersey Club. I'm gonna take that shot to the face if you want. Hey, make it way to the front. Take that shot to the face if you want. I just put my cup to the rim. I won't feel that fuck shit again. Her Patron shots on 10. Got her twerking on her. This is crazy because I never heard it this way. I always hear the best squeak. Follow me like a trend. Risky messages getting sent. DJ Rail hit him with the spin. It's okay if you jump. See if I can find his um, Discord link. You know that it's so fat, just throw that. That little dress, where your clothes at? If I get with you, you won't go back. Oh, 
So I'm gonna end the stream after I get his Discord link and then I'll link you guys. Thank you everybody for hopping in. Cardi B press rel remix. I like that song. Now the only thing is I can't play mainstream acapellas on YouTube. I would play the press, but that's because it's Cardi B. Um, I don't know if I can play that one. Where's it at? Cardi B. I didn't see that one on the list here. Uh, let's see what this is. I'm trying to avoid remixes because YouTube. But uh, when I get his Discord, I'm going to link it below. I don't want to eat up any more time. I just want to thank everybody for being here. And I'm going to send this out to the email. And that's all I have to say. So shout out to Rail for being so kind to join us because it took me an hour to um, go live with him. So he had to, you know, he was being patient. Okay, so it's all I have to say. I have nothing else to tell y'all. Oh, here it is. Here's the Discord link. All right, so before you guys go, here's the Discord. Um, let me see, copy. And can I paste on the computer? Let me see. Oh, it works. Okay. Click here to join Rails Discord. All right, so I'm going to see what this, make sure I'm in the Discord. Hold up. But yeah, so that's, it's so cool to know, like he's, oh, thank you. I didn't even know he was still here. <laughs> it's just cool to know that he planted those seeds and it's, it's just like celebratory. It's hard to explain it. It's kind of like when Lil Uzi Vert's song went like to the top or whatever, and then the Eagles go to the Super Bowl. It's just a way to celebrate um, stuff. Okay, I just joined his Discord. Uh, all right, cool. Boom, I'm in there. So come join us. Jersey Club Music Discord. All right, guys, I'm going to head up out of here. I want to thank everybody and peace.